what's up everybody i hope everybody's doing well today i have a i have a good teaching for you today a really good teaching honestly if you grab a hold of what i'm about to talk about right now and if you apply these principles to your life it doesn't matter where you're at in your life how old you are what mistakes you've already made if you apply these principles to your life i promise you i promise you that your life is going to get better. You're gonna make better decisions in your life. You're gonna make decisions that are gonna please God more. That is if you apply these principles to your life. The problem with a lot of us Christians is that we read the Bible, we agree with the Bible, we give the scriptures that we hear our pastors preach an amen and we clap. But then as soon as we leave church, we do the opposite. We don't do what the word is telling us. The subject that I'm gonna be speaking on today is time. Time and knowing what time it is. Knowing what time it is. I'm gonna reference, I'm gonna to go to, to the book of Ecclesiastes and I'm gonna be reading uh, out of chapter three, beginning in verse one, where it says, there is a time for everything under the sun. A time for everything and the problem with a lot of humans and the choices and decisions that we've made is we didn't know what time it was we did something when it wasn't time to react that way we made a choice when it wasn't time to make that choice and I'm gonna break down that a little bit for you I'm gonna break it down a little bit for you the book of Ecclesiastes is one of my favorite books a lot of people don't like it a lot of people find it a little depressing, but for some reason it really speaks to me. For some reason it brings me hope. It brings me hope even though a lot of what it's talking about might be uh, interpreted as being uh, sad or negative or depressing like I said. It brings me hope because at the end of it all, at the end of it all, it all points to God and how meaningless everything else is apart from God and how when you introduce God into your life into every area of your life he brings purpose hope and meaning to all of it so Ecclesiastes is sort of a, a book uh, explaining how meaningless everything that we as humans pursue without God without Jesus at the center of it right so again there is a time for everything under the sun, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to weep, but there is also a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain, a time to search, and a time to give up, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to mend. There's a time to be silent, and there's a time to speak, see? Right here it breaks down to you that there is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the sun. But see, just like there is a time for things, there is also not a time for, for these very same things. It is not the time. It is not the right time. See, there's a lot of youngsters. There's a lot of people that will spend the rest of their lives in prison because they killed somebody <clears throat> when it wasn't a time to kill. See, somebody looking at you the wrong way. Somebody... Uh, cutting you off in traffic. Somebody saying a word that you feel disrespects you. Somebody uh, making a comment that you find disrespectful, right? And this happens a lot in gangs and gang culture. People will kill for somebody looking at them the wrong way. Just for somebody being from an opposite gang. Even if they had never done anything to you personally. But just because they're from a rival gang. 
you are called to kill them. That is not a time to kill. Not knowing what time it was. Killing when it wasn't time to kill. And now some of these people will spend the rest of their lives regretting a decision that, that is very, very difficult to live with. Maybe it make it a little bit easier to live with if you had killed when maybe there was a time to kill. Maybe somebody was breaking into your house. Maybe was, or somebody was trying to harm you or somebody that you loved. Maybe somebody was harming another person and you intervened and in the process you killed them. Maybe you could accept the time that you get in prison a little bit easier. But when you did it for something so foolish as somebody cutting you off in traffic or flipping you off in traffic, or like I said, looking at you the wrong way, can you imagine spending the rest of your life and having to live with the fact that you killed somebody over something so trivial. That is one example of acting out of time. It says that there is a time to mourn, but there's also a time to dance. A lot of people have these backwards. A lot of people have gotten stuck in a time to mourn. At some point there was a time to mourn, but they were never able to break out of that time. And so by the time that they should be dancing now and rejoicing and coming out of that time of mourning, they're still stuck in that time of mourning. And then there's people that have just gone through something very traumatic and they should be allowing themselves to mourn. But they don't want to feel the pain. They don't want to mourn. So they're medicating themselves with drugs, self-medicating with alcohol, going out to the bars, spending time with their friends, trying to laugh and trying to dance and trying to be in a good, good spirits because they, they don't ever want to feel pain. So these people will never allow themselves to heal. See, it says there was a time to kill. There was also a time to heal. So these people, they won't allow themselves to go through the time of mourning that will lead them to eventually a time of healing. So they won't reach that time of healing. Also, others that are stuck in the time of mourning, they won't reach the place of healing. Watch where, where I'm taking you here. I hope you're following with me because there is a time for everything under the sun. And they will not pass the stage of mourning and get to a place of healing because they don't know when it's time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to keep and a time to throw away. There is time to keep memories. There is time to think about your loved ones that passed away. There is time to keep photos. There is time to look at those photos. If those photos bring you uh, comfort, if those photos bring you joy, if you can look at those photos and find peace somewhere deep within you and get to a place of healing that way. But maybe sometimes it is time to throw away. Maybe sometimes it is time to throw away certain memories in a sense, put those memories away or put away certain pictures. If those things bring you sadness if those things put you in a time in a place of, of of sorrow and mourning and you're not able to break out of that you need to know what time it is if it's six years seven years uh, uh later um uh, be it a divorce be it a, a a loved one passing away if it's six seven years later and you're still stuck in a place of mourning bitterness sadness Maybe it's time to start throwing some things away that remind you of that person, that keep bringing you back to this place of mourning. Knowing what time it is, knowing what time it is, it is very important. It says that there's a time for war and there's a time for peace. So with these scriptures, we are able to understand that there is a time 
to react violently. I've done another video on that. There is a time to lift up your arms. There is a time to defend your country. There is a time to protect your home. There is a time to protect your city, your loved ones. You need to know when that time comes because also you could be so stuck on always preaching peace and always wanting to uh, bring about peace, which we are called to be peacemakers. And there is a time for that. But you also need to know when it's time for war. You also need to know when it's time to raise up and stand up against evil, against evil policies, against uh, evil um, beliefs that are being pushed around and, and, and a society is slowly being taken over by a certain mindset and we as Christians and believers if we always just want to keep preaching peace and be peaceful and keep the peace with everybody we won't know when it's time to stand up and go to war if it if it's needed if need be and that takes a lot of prayer and that takes a lot of spending time with God and being able to know the difference in those times when it's time for peace and when it's come time to, to go to war when it's time for war Knowing the times, so important. A lot of people act out of time. They act out of time. And maybe some, some countries have gone to war when it wasn't necessary. War. Imagine how many lives have been lost in wartime because a dictator just wanted more land. When he already had more than he knew what to do with, he just wanted more to conquer more land that wasn't a time for war that was just a man that was greedy that could never satisfy himself and so nothing he ever conquered was ever going to be enough so he kept going to war and conquering more countries and that was not a time for war maybe he was doing so well that it should have been a time for peace for him and for his people he was acting out of time how many lives were destroyed how many hearts were broken because one dictator, one man that was running a whole country did not know whether it was time for peace or time for war. And there will come a time for war. Like I just said before, knowing the difference is crucial. I'm going to touch on one more. I'm going to touch on one more because I think this one is very, very important. And I shared this one with my boys. Maybe two more, but I shared this one with my boys yesterday. Knowing when it's time to embrace and a time to refrain. And again, I will kind of tie in with this one. A time to keep and a time to throw away. They kind of go together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain. You got to choose your friends very carefully. You got to choose your relationships very carefully. A lot of men, uh, a lot of men and women embraced the wrong person, be it in a relationship, be it in a friendship, and they paid for it dearly. They embraced the wrong person and welcomed them into their home and, and their children were molested. Or this friend that they thought was a good friend, a loyal friend, they embraced him and, and, and invited him into their home. And then he ended up seducing their wife. And they paid a heavy price for not knowing when to embrace and when to refrain. Some friends, so-called friends, some acquaintances, I should say, you need to keep at a distance. You need to keep at a distance. You're, you, you're cordial. You, you say hi when you see them. You, you, know, you, you, you uh, acknowledge them. But you keep at a distance. And you need to know and you need to pray because you need God to give you discernment when it's time to embrace and when it's time to... Uh, to refrain when it's time to embrace and when it's time to refrain this goes for a lot of men too you need to know you need to pray pray for discernment from the Lord when you meet a woman when it's time to embrace and say that this will be my wife this is going to be the woman that I have children with this will be the woman that I spend the rest of my life with and I have children with or when it's time to refrain and say, no, this woman will just be a friend. Or this woman I need to kind of let go. When to keep and when to let go. You need to know when it's the right person to keep as a friend. When it's the right person to keep as a wife, as a boyfriend. Whatever it may be. Or when it's time to let them go. And even when you're in a relationship, maybe even in marriage. There is a time to keep 
and there's a time to let go. There's a time to keep fighting for your marriage and there's a time to let it go. A lot of people let go way too soon. They didn't know what time it was. A lot of people called it quits way too soon when there was still a lot left in that relationship, when there was still a lot left to salvage, but they did not know what time it was. This message is about time and knowing what time it is. It's gonna be very important in your life, young man, young woman. Even if you're older and you've made a lot of mistakes, it's never too late to change and start recognizing and praying for discernment to know what time it is. Because if you act out of time, it could throw your whole life in the wrong direction and it could land you in places that are gonna cause you a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of pain and heartache for your children, for yourself, for your family, for the people that love you. I hope you take this message to heart. I hope you meditate on it. And again, Ecclesiastes chapter three, beginning in verse one, and read on, I believe it's uh, verse eight. I hope and I pray that this message blesses you.